Hi, my name is Steve Houston. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, as you know, if you're brand new here, you might not know. So I'm going to go ahead and explain to you. Everybody else can tune me out for about two seconds here. Well, maybe five seconds. On this channel, we talk about all things financial services related. We try to give you some information that you can use to sell more life insurance, more final expense and mortgage protection policies. We also talk about the IMOs. We talk about the recruiters who do nothing but recruit you. They don't leave from the front. They never sold any insurance. It's all about some will, some won't, so what. You are their get-rich-quick scheme. We talk about those two on this channel. We talk about the difference in the comp plans. What makes a world-class comp plan? What makes a world-class IMO? And the most important thing out there is not the IMO. That's certainly part of it. But it's also who you're going to learn the skills necessary to succeed in this business. It's that coach mentor relationship as long as that coach or mentor knows what they're talking about and they're not reading out of some sort of book on how to train an agent. They had to leave in the front by putting their uniform on, going out there in the home and doing the exact same thing they're asking you to do. That's a coach. That's a mentor. Changed my career around and I'm sure it will change yours around as well. Listen, before I get too far into this video, go vote on Tuesday, November 3rd. I want to share with you something today called living benefits. This really changed the trajectory of a lot of our agents' incomes over the last several years. And I really believe it's a game changer. And I don't believe enough people understand it. And I don't believe enough people know how to explain it properly. So I thought I'd spend just a few minutes this week talking about living benefits and the game changer that can be both in getting new business, but also going in there and making sure they have living benefits. And if not, get them a policy that does have it. All right, so here we go. So look, as I said, we have this thing now called living benefits. Really is a living benefits is a mission for us to change out the old life insurance with the new life insurance. And so this is where I want to kind of get in the nitty gritty here for a few minutes with you. The old kind is if you have to die to get any money. In other words, is it life insurance or is it death insurance? The death insurance is you have to die to collect, right? The new kind is money if you die and it's money if you live. That's exactly how I explain it to my clients. So look, most of you know I've been selling insurance for over 30 years. And I believe many of you have never really taken a policy, sat down and read it from front to back and really understood the full capacities or the abilities of everything that we do for our clients and what that policy provides. Even though I was selling them a life insurance policy, until I got that policy and I read through what it covers, I was clueless about what it didn't cover and really the value of that life insurance. Now look, having life insurance is certainly better than having no life insurance, right? But today, because the industry's changed, we want to make sure they have the new kind of life insurance, meaning that if they have three different situations occur in their lives, that they'll still be able to draw off that policy even though they haven't died. That's the new kind of life insurance. So I really believe you need to fully grasp the difference between the new and the old kind of life insurance in order to be passionate about it and be able to explain it with passion. If we don't understand the difference, how can we possibly ever explain that to our clients, right? And that is our job, is to go in there and being able to discuss from an educational standpoint, exactly what their options are. So I believe our goal as life insurance agents, as mortgage agents and final expense agents, should be to go out and protect as many people as we can with living benefits. Our goal, our mission, should be to replace all life insurance policies that these folks have that does not have any living benefits. We had to make sure that everybody that we know, everybody that we meet, and everybody we come across has living benefits. Because here's the thing that we know. Number one, people are living longer because of modern medicine today, but they're also living sicker. I'm going to share with you some numbers that you can use on the phone, virtual, or while booking your appointment, or in the home. These are the same numbers that I use. So listen to these numbers and take some notes so you can share this with your prospects. Nearly every year, about 735,000 people have a heart attack. Out of those, 525,000 are first-time heart attacks and 210,000 
happen to people that have already had a heart attack. Those are staggering numbers, right? About half of Americans, 47% of them, have had at least one of these three factors happen to them. One, high cholesterol. Two, heart disease. Three, high blood pressure or smoking. These numbers are according to the CDC. Each year, according to strokenih.gov, 795,000 people suffer from a stroke. 140,000 of those folks die. 10 to 20% of the strokes are fatal. So what happens to the other 80 to 90%? This year with cancer alone, it is projected that 1,685,000 were going to be diagnosed with cancer and 595,000 we're gonna die from it. Basically, 454 new cases per 100,000 people each year. So every year, there's 454 people per 100,000 that get diagnosed with cancer, and 171 of those are fatal. We have something that is so special right now, and many of you are hearing a lot about it, but listen, for the company, for the agent, or the team that can wrap their head around this concept, buy into the importance of it, be sold on it first, then go out and tell as many people as you can about it. The crusade, the mission, and the cost will win in the marketplace and sell more life insurance than any other agent, company, or team. Now, I admit, in the past, I'm just as guilty as anybody else. I used to go over our term options, and then, oh, by the way, we have some of these living benefits, and I wouldn't spend a whole lot of time on it. But after understanding these numbers I just told you about, I don't do that anymore. I now say, Jack and Jill, hey, I've got these options that have living benefits. And oh, by the way, if you don't die, it still provides you with an income to provide money to pay for your medical bills, living expenses, mortgage, or even your bucket list items. And here are the facts. As we get older, we're living longer, but we're also living sicker. One out of three die, but two live and they can't work. Well, good is that life insurance. We should be telling that story. What we do matters. That if you live and cannot work, where does that put you? Listen, I know none of us like to sell our friends, family, and neighbors, but what kind of tragedy would it be if you had someone in your family that had the old kind of life insurance, had a stroke, and was financially devastated because they lost their income and they lost their home because you do not tell them about living benefits, which they could have tapped into. Now, here's the thing. Many of these policies allow you to advance up to 100% of the face amount of the policy. So what does that mean? If you have a $200,000 face amount, you can get $200,000 off that policy up front. Some carriers still allow you to get up to 100%. But even if you got 80%, some are 80%, some are 50%, even at 50%, they can advance $100,000. 80% was, what is that, one, one, just call it 150? In advance, while still living, but not dead. These are big numbers. Now, typically speaking, these living benefits cover three different areas, critical illness, terminal illness, and critical injury. And many of the policies, they include them. They're not even writers. They're built right in the policies. That's why it's very important for you to read through the policy and make sure they do have these things because it varies depending on the insurance carrier, how much they'll pay and what they'll cover. Now, getting back to my conversation with Jack and Jill, when he tells me that they're going to lose everything if they lose their income, I confirm that and I say, exactly. Jack, let me ask you a question. Did you know that 54% of all foreclosures are due to death or disability and that 62% of all bankruptcies were because of medical bills, 643,000 Americans go bankrupt each year. This is staggering to medical costs. A medical bankruptcy has occurred every 30 seconds for the past several years. That's 1 million bankruptcies in a year. So here's what you say. Jack, you and Jill and I need to get together. I'm going to be over your way Saturday around 3. You going to be home? It's very important that we get together as soon as possible. And let me take a look at what you have. And if you have only death insurance, we need to get rid of that and get you the new kind of life insurance that will cover you. It's the same conversation I would have with a lead. For example, if they say, I have it taken care of, I'm going to say, that's great. Congratulations. Let me ask you a question. Did you get the old kind or the new kind? I don't know. 
Well, let me ask you, is it a life policy or a death policy? I don't know the difference. Well, do you have to die to collect? Yes. Oh, then you have a death only policy. The new kind of life insurance is money if you die and money if you live. Jack, here's the issue. Because of modern medicine, we're living longer, but we're living sicker. Did you realize that only one out of three die of a heart attack or stroke, but two live but can't work because they're disabled and have a complete loss of income. So as I wrap this video up, let me tell you how I handle this. It's the same conversation with a lead in the home or on the phone when you get an objection like, I've got it taken care of. Great, let me ask you a question. Did you get the old kind or the new kind? I don't know, they say. Well, let me ask you, is it a life policy or is it a death policy? I don't know the difference. Well, do you have to die to collect? Well, of course, it's a life insurance policy. Oh no, you have a death policy, not a life policy. See, the new kind of life insurance is money if you die and money if you live, Jack. Here's the issue. Because of modern medicine, Jack, we're living longer, but we're living sicker. Did you realize that only one out of three die of a heart attack or stroke, but two live, but they can't work, they're disabled, and have a complete loss of income? Let me ask you, Jack, how is it looking 30 days after a complete loss of income? And you have not died, so you can't collect on that death policy that that agent sold you. You have no income and no means of earning any. Here's the answer. We would lose our home and have to file bankruptcy. And you say, exactly, Jack. Did you also know that 54% of all foreclosures today are due to death or disability? Jack, 62.1% of all bankruptcies were because of medical bills. 643,000 Americans go bankrupt each year due to medical costs. A medical bankruptcy is occurring every 30 seconds in America. That's one million bankruptcies in one year. Jack, it's important that we get together as soon as possible and let me take a look at what you have. And if you only have death insurance, we need to get rid of that and get you a new kind of life insurance that will make sure that you're covered. Now, I hope this makes sense today. How many people can you call this week and have that conversation with them? 10, 20, 30? You got your warm market, cold market, anybody you walk into while you're out doing your normal daily activities. This is important. It's critically important as you and the agent discuss this with all your clients, with your leads when you're making the dials, very briefly to get the appointment, right? To go out there and review what they've already had. It breaks down the door of, I've already got it covered. Got what covered? Did you get plan A or plan B? Did you get the old kind or the new kind? These are things you can say very quickly and change the path of that conversation on the phone, get the appointment, go in the home, see what they have, call your mentor or coach, screenshot the policy, and make sure that your clients are protected. It's on your watch to make sure that they don't have this occur to them. Two out of three Americans are having happened to them right now, today. I hope this has been helpful to you. Go out there, join the Living Benefits Crusade. Go out there, write more life insurance, protect more families while building your dream of owning your income, not renting it, and having that work-life balance. There's no greater opportunity on the planet than the life insurance industry, the niche market that we're in, which is no exam, mortgage protection or final expense coverage. But listen, it's a business. It's not always going to be easy, right? It's a business. Success is not easy. It ain't for the weak. You gotta be, you gotta be willing to, to be bad before you're good. You gotta be willing to fail and never quit. If you do those things, you will succeed. You gotta have no plan B, okay? Meaning you gotta burn all bridges and decide that this is what you wanna do for the rest of your life. Make a commitment, right? A commitment doesn't change next week or next month. A commitment doesn't have a date on it. When I came into this business, I said, I'm all in. No matter what, I'll do whatever it takes for as long as it takes. I want to be a life insurance agent. I want to build residual income. I want to build passive income. I want to build something every day I go out. I don't want to be worried about a job. I don't want to be worried about having to be fired or my job being terminated or go suck up to a boss because I got to go home and take care of my kids, and my wife, my family, my parents. I want to own my income. The security that I have in owning my income is that it's all on me. And in any given day that I need to give myself a pay raise, it's very simple. 
I go get more leads, make more dials, book more appointments, visit with more families, and write more ads. You can't find anything better, but you're going to have to earn it. It's not going to be easy. If it was, everybody would be doing it. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you being part of this channel. Give me that thumbs up. It's everything with YouTube. It allows them to share my video with others. I would appreciate you taking your time to help me with that thumbs up. Make a comment. Hit the subscribe button. Match the bell. Do all those YouTube things. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.